feel how vital it is that you are here in this space, creating a, a circle of light that has a center point that is everywhere, all at once. And it's a circle of light with one another who we see here. And it's a circle of light with all the beings of light who are converging here, seen and unseen. So let's call in all of our beloved kindreds who are disguised as beings that we see walking and flying and swimming on this beautiful earth. All of our animal beings and all of nature beings, let's call them all in fully beginning with yourself. Reclaiming yourself as a nature being. And calling yourself in fully with open arms, quantum arms of welcome. And we call in the herd here, Teddy and Taz, Yoshi and Travis, Khalil and Omar, and all the equine beings. Equine beings that are intimately part of your world. So many of you have these profound presences of equine beings in your life, canine beings, these light beings who wear the disguise of the most beautiful dogs and cats in our lives. Let's call them all in. And also the ones who have left their form, who are so palpably present. And we call in all of our human brothers and sisters. And those that have left their form and yet are guiding pole stars of light. Call in the oceanic beings. We call in all the farm animals who roam the lands, those that are free, those that are enclosed, all free in spirit. We feel their spirits here. same with our human brothers and sisters. We're calling in their spirits of freedom, our true nature. And we bring in the elements that dance freely. Water, earth, Mother Gaia herself, fire, air, the soil, the world beneath the soil, the sky and all the winged ones, the whole cosmos, galaxies, stars and planets 
space itself. We call in the rainforest beings, the jungle beings, the mountain beings, the land. Where you sit now. The ancestors. Cultivating the land with love and reverence. Kind of imprinted our beings with their wisdom. We call in the marsupial beings. We call in the desert dwellers, the forest dwellers, the safari beings, the elephant collective, the feline collective. Just notice who arise in your consciousness and invite them fully here. Feel this field, this circle, whose center is everywhere, that you are a vital part of right now. And in the center, we place our intention of why we are here, the currents of intention that brought you to this very moment where you chose to be here in this unique, vast quantum convergence and feeling that intention like a flower that you place in the center of this circle. And then feeling the unique frequency of this bouquet, this collective bouquet. Breathing it in. Being nourished and breathing it out. Setting it free as a gift to the whole. still joining us and as they join they are invited to welcome themselves here fully as we all have and are doing breath by breath this is a the beginning of our month of deep diving diving into what arises Trusting that what arises is needed as healing balm of strengthening our awakening. And I'm surrounded by these beings who live in the moment and are strengthening that way of life for us all. 
So with that intention, we listen to these messages, which I will just call transmissions for our times. These transmissions that came through do have a common thread of focusing on a word that we use that kind of points to a frequency that is very common for us all and that's a, a frequency of stress. But it's a human kind of stress. And so the natural world, which we are part of, a vital part of, is wanting us to examine this now and bring alchemy to. So we listen to these words, even though they're words, let them be like a tincture that you drop underneath your tongue and allow your body to form its own strengthening wellness and rebalancing recalibration with so the first transmission says come in come in fully into your body shell but before you do offer a whole hearted welcome to whatever you may find within. So now, come in. Come in fully into your body shell. And whatever you meet, welcome it. Welcome unwaveringly. Welcome with your breath. For all that you are welcoming is not who you are. All that you are welcoming is not who you are. So rest now within your body shell in the sunshine of this knowing that all that you are welcoming is not who you are. So welcome all. So let's breathe this in like a tincture. Through the cells of our skin. Receiving. This transmission which says come in, come in fully. Into your body. Into your body shell. But before you do. Offer a wholehearted welcome to whatever you might find within. So let's do this. Whatever you might find within, just meet with a gentle welcome. Welcome unwaveringly. Welcome with the breath. For all that you are welcoming is not who you are. So rest. Rest now within your body shell. Rest in the sunshine of this knowing that all that you welcome it's not who you are. Welcome all. So just feeling how this transmission lands and dances as a possibility 
of a way of welcoming an unwavering welcome. And this transmission is from the heart of nature consciousness, which is our true nature. No separation. The human collective is at a threshold and your fully embodied crossing of this threshold is being fully supported by all of nature, which is your true nature. So just take that in, that we are being fully supported by all of nature and our true nature in crossing this threshold. Pretending that humans can continue operating in a non-sustainable system fueled by unnatural fuel is over. Let it go. Remembering you are fully supported in this letting go. So pretending that humans can continue operating within a non-sustainable system fueled by the unnatural fuels is over. Let it go. But first, you must see it within yourself fully. See what part you play. What part do you play in fueling the system? The fuel we speak of is the go-to fuel of choice. Human make-believe stress. The fuel we speak of is the go-to fuel of choice. Human make-believe stress. It's time to see it, hear it, fully feel it within yourself and choose to drop out of the unnatural stress-based system. Breath by breath, slowing down. And recalibrating back into your natural circulatory system fueled by light. Meeting stress with stress feeds stress. That's Taz releasing for us all. Thank you, Taz. <sighs> Taking a moment to release a little bit more. Meeting stress with stress feeds stress. Meeting stress with light melts stress. It's time to melt stress everywhere as stress unabashedly masquerades as real. It is time to feel the stress for what it is, a make-believe imposter for motivation to be in life, to get things done, to investigate how it is an unconscious resistance set up to counter the inevitable dying of the body. And this unconscious fear then gloms onto stress 
magnetizing it and creating worlds of self-perpetuated suffering. So in this breath, see it for what it is within you. A trauma response to being here. And with a breath of light, infused, clear, seeing, assist its melting back into free life force. Know what you are choosing, breath by breath. Make a choice to go all in to this stress-based hamster wheel. Make a choice to keep a toe in and a toe out, or make a choice to fully drop out. What choice will you make? Breath by breath choice. Allow yourself to choose freely, but know what you are choosing. This changes everything. Know what you are choosing. That changes everything. It is a breath by breath choice where the breath can meet or ignore what is asking to be fueled. Allow the breath to meet and to welcome whatever is presenting itself in your consciousness, knowing you can infuse what is there with light, with one simple breath. Or you can resist by ignoring what is there or by moving faster and faster away from it. So at this threshold, allow yourself to choose freely, but know what you are choosing. So let's take a breath now of choice. And I'll read this transmission again. The human collective is at a threshold and your fully embodied crossing of this threshold is being fully supported by all of nature, which is your true nature. Pretending that humans can continue operating within a non-sustainable system fueled by unnatural fuels is over. Let it go. And know You are fully supported by all of nature in this letting go as hawk flies overhead. What, but first, before you let go, you must see it within yourself fully. What part do you play in fueling the system? The fuel we speak of is the go-to fuel of choice. Human make-believe stress. It's time to see it, hear it, fully feel it within yourself and choose to drop out of the unnatural stress-based system. Breath by breath, slowing down, recalibrating back into your natural 
circulatory system fueled by light. Meeting stress with stress feeds stress. Meeting stress with light melts stress. It's time to melt stress everywhere. As stress unabashedly masquerades as real. It's time to feel this stress for what it is. A make-believe imposter for motivation to be in life, to get things done. Perhaps even an unconscious resistance set up to counter the inevitable dying of the body. And then this unconscious fear globs onto stress, magnetizing it and creating worlds of self-perpetuated suffering. In this breath, see it for what it is within you. A trauma response to being here. And with a breath, slow and steady, a breath of light infused, clear seeing, assist its melting into freed life force. Know what you are choosing. Make a choice to go all in, all in to the stress-based hamster wheel. Make a choice to keep a toe in and a toe out, or make a choice to fully drop out. What choice will you make? Breath by breath choice. Allow yourself the freedom to choose, but know what you are choosing. The breath by breath choice where the breath can meet or ignore what is asking to get fueled. Allow the breath to meet and to welcome whatever is presenting itself in your consciousness. Here and now, whatever is presenting itself right now in your consciousness, just allow the breath to fully meet. And feel how this meeting is it infused by clear seeing light. A melting of sorts, light upon light. Knowing you can infuse what is there with light or you can resist it by ignoring, or you can move faster and faster away from it. Each breath a choice, the freedom to choose and to know what you are choosing. So let's fully breathe this in. It's an exploration presented by our true nature. Just all of nature.
and Mockingbird flew in with this transmission now. There are humans among you that actually fear losing the thrilling motivator of stress. They've not discovered another motivator that is natural, sustainable, and creates balance. They've not fully discovered that this motivator is alive and well and waiting, just waiting to be discovered. And we are here to strengthen that. The stress in response to stress strengthens and feeds stress, but ultimately when this is seen, it's melted in the arms of love. And when stress is melted, it's free life force. It enters the whole system, reaching wider its quantum wings of embrace, embracing love it's time to drop out of these unnatural stress-based ways after all your very cells are made of stardust your nervous system galaxies of light supernova systems are not stress-based they are light-based Adding light to each trigger, you will see a light network strengthen in the blink of an eye. That is what all of our chirping is about. From Mockingbird. There are humans among you that fear losing the thrilling motivator of stress. They have not discovered another motivator that is natural, sustainable, and creates balance. This motivator is alive and well, waiting to be discovered. And we are here to strengthen that. The stress in response to stress strengthens and feeds stress. But ultimately, when this is seen, it's melted in the arms of love. Stress is melted, raw, free life force. Stress, when melted, is a raw, free life force entering the whole system reaching wider its quantum wings, embracing all with love. It is time to drop out of these unnatural stress-based ways. After all, your very cells are made of stardust. Your nervous system galaxies of light Supernova systems are not stress-based. They are light-based. Adding light to each trigger, you will see a light network strengthen in the blink of an eye. That is what all our chirping is about. Breathe in, mockingbirds, frequent frequency of remembrance. Feeling our own nervous system as networks of light, galaxies of light. And feeling and remembering ourselves 
as ancient as stardust. And allow a melting breath by breath in this moment, a melting of stress, a melting of unnatural fuel into freed natural life force. And finally, we have Travis's message. Travis says, Notice what fuel. Your notice what fuels your movement. And notice what fuels your stillness. And let it be the same fuel. Notice what fuels your movement. And notice what fuels your stillness. And let it be the same fuel. What you input into your body, mind, spirit also fuels the collective. Every input is a note. And each collective consciousness tends to entrain to the strongest collective note. What is the note of now that you are inputting? Can you see, can you hear that note that's saying you hear? Can you feel the frequency that brought you into existence? It was not stress that brought you here. Stress feels to be the loudest note until you cultivate your listening to attune to hearing that very note that carried you here. then this original note becomes the louder, clearer note for all to hear their note. And when you hear this note and retune, then you can be fully here. Not a make-believe here overlaid by stress, a here, and now that is sovereign, free, and quantumly embraces all. Travis, this light being disguised as black horse being. Notice what fuels your movement and what fuels your stillness. And let it be the same fuel. Notice what fuels 
your movement and what fuels your stillness and let it be the same fuel. What you input into your body, mind and spirit, all that you input, all that fuels you, that you input into your body, mind and spirit, you input into the collective. Every input is a note and each collective consciousness tends to entrain to the strongest collective note. What is the note of now that you are inputting? Can you see, can you hear? The note that sang you hear? Can you feel the frequency that brought you into existence? It was not stress that brought you here into existence. No, stress feels to be the loudest note until you cultivate your listening to attune to hearing the very note that carried you here. And then this original note becomes the louder, clearer note for all to hear their note. And when you hear and retune, then you can be fully here. Not a make-believe here, overlaid by stress. A here and now that is sovereign, free, and quantumly embraces all. And that is what all of nature which includes our true nature, is strengthening. So for a breath, breathing in this input into your microcosmic, so microcosmically within your inner body, mind, and spirit that it quantumly embraces all. And we send this out upon the breath through the ether as a gift to the whole. Like a little snore from Kalia. Feeling a deeper welcome to all of yourself. Breath by breath, a retuning 
to your true note as fuel to the most natural, self-sustaining, circulatory system of light for all. And we will gently begin now to shift this 